Fabio Wardley, you've got the English heavyweight title on your shoulder. I just wonder when you started out on the white collar circuit if you ever thought that you'd be at this level now. No, no, I didn't. I, I started boxing just for a bit of fun, just for something to enjoy. I, I enjoyed the pressure of it, the, the pushing the body every day and the work, and, and here I am. Four white collar fights later, a few more pros later, and somehow I've managed to wang myself a heavyweight title. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm over the moon. I just, I can't, I can't thank everyone around me enough because it's not as much as everyone thinks it's just me in the ring. It is, yeah, but it's not. It's all the preparation. It's all the build up. It's all the people helping me along on this journey. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm massively humbled and, and grateful. Talk us through the fight itself. How you felt it went. I'm, not to toot my own horn, but near on punch perfect. I think. I think I did pretty. Did pretty well. I measured the distance nicely. I popped that jab a lot. I, I found when there was gaps, and I, I was playing around, like I said to people, for the first round or two. I said I'll size it up. I'll see how I feel. See what I like. And I don't know if the, the mic or anything caught it, but I said to my team, I know where the gaps are now, and we're going for the kill. So round three, that was it. That was over. Let's just have a word with your promoter Eddie Hearn. Uh, what do you think's next for Fabio? Well, we were just joking there about jumping on the Dillian White card. You know, I mean, uh, he's obviously he's enjoyed the experience of fight camp. Dillian, I know, is watching. He'll he is probably watching, be, yeah, he'll be yeah. probably uh, on to me tomorrow. But I thought it was a great performance. You know, we talk about stepping up now to level. Some of the questions in the build-up was how good is Fabio Wardley? You know, we know about the background of Simon Valili, Commonwealth Games gold medalist, ABA champion, GB podium squad. Fabio's background, very different, white collar scene, you know, and, and, and inexperienced as a professional. But that was a really composed performance. You know, just before that big left hook that landed, I was a little bit worried. Valili seemed to be stalking him down. He was composed, lovely catch and counter, backed him up, and, and the finish was great. So, you know, I think that he now starts to move into those brackets of the Joyce's and the Dubois. He's got some work to do, English heavyweight champion, but he's a couple of fights away from that now. And I think we've got a great new contender on the British heavyweight scene. He's exciting. He looks great. He talks well. Oh, yeah, he's handsome as well, you know, let's be honest. But, you know, it's... It's, it's exciting, you know, and especially coming from that part of Britain. You know, let's be honest, East Anglia hasn't, over the years, produced a number of great heavyweights. I think there's a great little division and, and area of the country that can support him there. And I think the public can get behind him as well. It's always great when we see a young British heavyweight come on the scene. He's been a joy all week, you know, in the bubble and in fight camp. It's been a great experience for these fighters. And that was a big tick as a test pass tonight. Fabulous. Fabio. Thanks.